Hey everyone, welcome to Page Nero. My name is Breno Tagliavini, and today's lecture is about the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is known as the fifth cranial nerve, and it's an important nerve for cranium, skull, head, and face sensation and also a motor nerve for the muscles of mastication and other muscles that I will present you later. But this, the, this motor is called branchial motor division, but why branchial motor? What is it? Branchial motor comes from the embryology because it's derived from the first pharyngeal arch, the mandibular arch, and it's a special visceral efferent part. The other part of the nerve is the GSA, general somatic efferent. Uh, but basically the nerve itself has three main divisions, V1, V2 and V3. V1 stands for ophthalmic, V2 for maxillary and V3 for mandibulary. The trigeminal nuclei, they are located from the upper cervical spinal cord to the pons and they are divided into the categories they of the sensation or motor that's the chief sensory part for touch is located in the pons the mesencephalic part for proprioception that come that's between the brain the medulla and the medulla oblongata and the midbrain and the spinal one for pain and temperature in the upper cervical spinal cord and the motor division is found the motor nucleus is found in the mid pontine tegmentum uh, the motor division innervates not only the muscles of mastication that i just presented but which are the muscles of mastication they are the temporalis, masseter, lateral, and medial pterygoids. They are two. But there are other muscles that it's innervated from the V3 division, the motor division. That they are the tensor tympani, tensor palati, mylohyoid, and the anterior belly of the digastric. Um, now the GSA component provides sensory innervation from face, mucous membranes of nasal and neural cavities and also the frontal sinus, heart palate, deep structures of the head for proprioception from muscles and the temporal mandibular joint. It also innervates the anterior and middle cranial fossa or the supratentorial fossa. Supratentorial dura mater, sorry. And talking about each division of the nerve, the V1 or ophthalmic exits through this SOF. What is it? Superior orbital fissure. And it innervates the eye conjunctiva, the upper eyelid, the orbital contents, the frontal sinus and ethmoid air cells, the nasal dorsum, the anterior scalp the dura in the anterior cranial fossa and also a portion of the tentarium cerebellum. The anterior cranial fossa is here that I'm trying to show you here. And now the V2 part, the maxillary, exits through the foramen rotundum and it innervates the nasal pharynx and nasal cavity, the palate, the maxillary teeth, the maxillary sinus, and the skin from lower eyelid to upper lip, and also the dura in the middle cranial fossa. The middle cranial fossa would be here, here, and here. Now the V3 part exits through the foramen ovale and it innervates the skin of lower lip and below and anterior external ear and also a portion of the external acoustic meatus the anterior two-thirds of the tongue the mandibular teeth 
the mastoidal cells, the mu mucous membranes of cheeks, the mandible, and also the dura in the middle cranial fossa. Talking about the trigeminal sensation examination, we should check unilaterally in the three divisions of the nerve and also bilaterally and also using double stimulation to see if there is any asymmetry, hypostesia and or hyperalgia also. But it also we should also check for corneal reflex that's a reflex that involves both the cranial nerve 5 and 7 touching the cornea, each cornea gently with a cotton wisp and observing any asymmetries in the blink response. Also, we should check for the motor division of the nerve, feeling the masseter muscles during jaw clench. And also test for jaw jerk by gently tapping on the jaw uh, with the mouth slightly open. Another clinical aspect for trigeminal nerve is the trigeminal neuralgia or tic de la roots. I really have no knowledge in French, sorry for my awful pronunciation. And it's characterized by recurrent paroxysms of sharp stabbing pain in one or more branches of the nerve. And it's usually for V2 and V3 portions of the nerve. V1 is kind of rare. And if the patient has trigeminal nerve neuralgia, we should check for vascular compression of the root entry of the, ner the nerves because it's a really vascularized region and sometimes in an artery is causing a compression of the root of the nerve, causing this specific pattern of pain. Thanks a lot everyone, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also share this video with your friends. Thank you.